Hello and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial uh, with TechBlot 360EX. This tutorial is going to focus on loading data from Excel. That data will then be plotted in TechBlot 360EX and we will be uh, illustrating our new Fourier transform capabilities. Uh, the data that I chose for this tutorial I actually downloaded from NOAA. These are uh, heights of tides in the Puget Sound area and they go from I believe the late 1800s through present day if we go down I guess through 2014 uh, the key thing we're going to want to take a look at is we're going to be looking at Fourier transforming the highest and lowest tides uh, as a function of date so that's the the uh, time element that we're going to be using. A couple of things quickly. TechPlot installs an add-in which uh, works with Microsoft Excel. It will work with versions from 2010 and up. I think actually we've had it working with 2008 as well. If you click on the Find TechPlot, it will ask you where TechPlot is installed. In my case, that's through the TechPlot 360 EX beta directory the final release typically will be whatever directory uh, you installed under. Unfortunately, Microsoft Excel is not currently available on Linux, so this is more of a Windows only uh, set of functionality. Uh, you could, of course, load this data as a CSV file into TechBlood as well. Okay. If you highlight cell A1, TechPlot, the uh, add in inside of Excel, will actually highlight all of the data and it will open it up in TechPlot. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll hit send to TechPlot. TechPlot 360 EX will open. It will open with variable 1 versus variable 2 in a line map mode. Uh, we will change that. So for the x-axis, we'll right click under x-axis and we're going to make this the reference month. And um, for the z or the uh, y-axis, pardon me, we are going to look at the highest okay where is highest there it is and so now that reference zone if we move this out of the way a little bit if I hit control F which will fit the data you can see that is the highest tide as a function of the reference month uh, over the last couple hundred years well the next thing we're going to do is we want to turn on uh, a separate map for lowest so I'm going to copy this map and so down at the bottom you'll see we have highest versus reference month and uh, we're just going to go ahead and change this from highest to lowest and we'll activate that map and close this dialog if I hit control F again you'll see that we have the highest and lowest tides as a function of reference month all right, a couple things to point out in TechBlot 360EX. If I select the frame, I can right click and copy. And this is going to be the raw data. This is a page, so I'll call the page raw data. I'm going to add an additional page. And here I'm going to put in FFT, uh, high and low, and the highest and lowest. All right. Once I'm in this environment, I can either go to Edit and Paste, or I can just hit Control-V. I prefer the mal or the keyboard shortcut. It really doesn't matter too much. So there's two ways to create a Fourier transform. Let me show you the first. We're going to go into Data, Fourier Transform. And you can see we have the independent variable at year. We're going to set that to reference month. And we're going to look at the highest and the lowest simultaneously. Oops. There's highest and lowest. Okay, so there's a couple options here. Once we have highest and lowest selected, we just can hit transform. There are a number of options, including the window option, or window function, pardon me, as well as uh, you can include conjugates. If uh, we have source blanking, we can take advantage of that as well. In terms of where we put the frame, we can put it tile with existing frames which is what I'm going to select or you can put it up in the corner of the source frame and if we hit transform you'll see that 
it's created the Fourier transform. And let me quickly just show you a couple of, of options on this. First of all, if you select the frame of interest, like this frame here, I can just hit delete and just remove the frame. Under frame, there's a tile frame, op frame option, which I can tile the two frames. And so here is a highest and lowest, and down here we have highest and lowest. Um, it's probably worth changing the line color. So we'll change the line color to, say, green to make them consistent. So there's uh, line color higher and lower. There's another option. Uh, we'll go ahead and add another page. Just call this page a test. So this option is if you want to um, avoid going through the dialog, one can actually right-click and from the right-click menu just do a Fourier transform, and you can see it did a Fourier transform in this case. Um, it took advantage of the same option, so again, we'd probably want to make this look more like this, but there you go. So, uh, hopefully this tutorial has kind of walked you through some of the new capabilities. Fourier Transform has been in TechPlot for a long time, uh, but we have made some enhancements, again, to make it easier to Fourier Transform experimental or simulation data, uh, most informatively via this Fourier Transform right-click access. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate. Email us at support at techblot.com. Thanks very much.